So I'm off now to meet a guy called Ross Atkin, who uses design and technology to shape urban environments. So I'm really excited to meet him. Come check him out. So just tell us who you are and what you do. I'm Ross Atkin and I'm a product designer working, uh, looking at how we apply digital technology to public space. Um, I work on projects like uh, responsive street furniture. Another project is uh, Sightline, which is an attempt to make uh, roadworks easier to navigate for people with sight loss. I do some stuff that's not to do with accessibility, like uh, built the system for the Greenwich and Woolwich foot tunnels that tells people if the lifts are working without them having to go there, which turns out is really, really useful. So, uh, what is this? So this is a Bluetooth beacon, and this is what we're using uh, so that people who don't have smartphones can access responsive street furniture. Uh, I can just chuck this in my pocket and it will respond to street furniture. Well, it, yeah, it'll tell the street furniture that you're coming and uh, then it'll know to do the things that you've asked it to do, like give you extra time to cross the road or give you audio information or brighter street lights. Cool. With the technology we already have, mm. there are loads and loads and loads and loads of amazing things we can build that we haven't built yet. So it's like even, it, we don't even need to worry about the stuff that hasn't been invented yet. Just with the stuff that's been invented, there's loads and loads of amazing uh, things we could build that could solve real problems for people right now. Um, and that's what we should be doing. But we're only gonna, we're not gonna find, work out what those are by looking at the technology. We're gonna work, them, work out what they are by looking at the problems and understanding the people who, who experience those problems. And, how they experience those problems and, and then thinking about the technology and thinking about what we can do to, to mitigate those problems. What is the sort of overall ambition? I, I think ultimately it's to make cities more livable and to, make, to give people a better experience of living in cities and, and you do that by dealing with all of the stuff that makes living in cities inconvenient and annoying and uh, different people experience different things that make uh, sit, living in cities inconvenient and annoying and they experience them to different extents. So I'm very interested in um, working with disabled people because the level of inconvenience that they experience dealing with cities is much higher than non-disabled people and so there are some amazing opportunities to make big impact. Um, but fundamentally that's what we should be using smart city, clever city, whatever. When we're applying digital technology to cities that's what we should be trying to do and by doing that and by picking off specific problems we are making cities more livable.